now in the next episode today i'm going to repair a gaming monitor uh have a look at it it's the asus and what it does let me just plug the power cable so what it does All right, so when I plug the power cable, cable, see, we've got a LED light here. And when I press it, nothing happens. So. Not, it's not responsive. You see, it's nothing on the screen. The screen doesn't look uh, damaged or cracked. Nothing at all. The screen looks really good. Usually, you know, I don't repair this kind of problems. We don't repair monitors. But it was, you know, my friend. And he asked me to have a look. So, you know, this monitor. Maybe it's not in the best condition. I can see some sign that someone was trying to open it, I think. I'm going to press any button. Nothing happens. All right, let's fix it. We've got two bars inside. We've got the power supply board and the motherboard. All right, so let's let's remove that metal shield around it. I don't think, you know, it's uh, the power supply board, but, you know, we should check all the voltages. If we can see any voltages. All right, so the power supply, the power cable is plugged. Let's measure the voltages. What, what can we see? All right, so let's put the black probe on ground. The red, five volts. Purple, nothing. Another five volts. Five volts. Nothing. And nothing. Right, so we've got only five volts. You know, I don't have a schematic for this. So, you know, but usually, you know, to run the telly, it needs five volts, 12 or 20 volts, and 3.3 volts. And we have nothing here. We've got just five volts. So I'm going to disconnect this. I'm not sure what the voltages they supposed to be here.
All right, let's do the, you know, visual inspection, the microscope. I can't see nothing wrong with it. I'm going to quickly uh, measure the voltages. Multimeter on in the beep mode. Hear the beep? All right. I'm going to check all diodes and fuses. Good. What else? Here, little fuse. Inductor. the MOSFET it's okay right I think this power board is good the problem is probably uh, in the motherboard and you know, here it doesn't look good I don't know what was that I think it was like the old label, a bit sticky. But this area, like it's some kind of locks. So, uh, yeah, I think someone was in before. Right, this side of the motherboard looks good. This, I don't know if it was a little bit burnt or something. All right, let's go under the microscope and see what we can see in this area. But it doesn't look good for me. Yeah, we got a flux. Flux. This component, this IC doesn't look like it was soldered properly. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Why someone was messing around here? Didn't notice this chip is not aligned properly, not fitted properly. Someone was trying to mess with the capacitors. Look at this resistor here. Yeah. This resistor. Yeah. All right. I'm just gonna before I uh, before I solder this chip properly. I'm just going to measure with, in, with the multimeter in diode mode. If we can, yes, we've got a short. It's not the capacitor. We've got short here. Uh, 
capacitors are not shorted, but And this capacitor, those two capacitors are shorted together. Alright, first what I'm going to do, I'm going just to fit it properly, you know, this chip. And see if the short's gone. I can't understand why. I didn't notice this IC. Never mind. Let's just do it. Right, I'm I'm taking just the I'm going to check, you know, this capacitors again. There's still a short. Yeah, it's a dead short. I think this is the ground, actually. But let's check if this is a ground or no. Right, you know what? Before I do any step further, I'm going to plug this power supply like that. Remember, before when I plugged the, the power cable, it was this LED light was all the time on. No matter what I've done, it was all the time on. Let's check this now. Right, we have no reaction, no response. Wondering if I plug this properly. There's no standby light. Nothing at all. As before, when the chip was fitted not properly, we could see the standby light here, LED. What I'm going to do, I'm going to measure the values right now. Without the motherboard plugged, we had 5 volts. Let's check what we've got now. The red one, and we've got five volts. Another five volts. We got some feedback from the motherboard before they were zero. Nothing here. Really nothing. And we've got some voltage here. All right. What I would do more, I would plug this to the monitor because it might be something that it needs feedback from the LCD screen and then turns it on, so... Alright, so the power is plugged right now. No luck. It's even worse than it was before. Now we have no light, nothing whatsoever. So let's find the ground point and apply some voltage here. Mm. 
looks like one missing component here. Let's remove that chip. Alright, so I'm applying the voltage right here and it looks like this capacitor is the problem. Let's remove it. Alright, so I just removed this little thing. Let's just test it. I'm going to solder that IC chip back again and see if you see any difference. and still nothing. Test it on the with the screen. Alright, so, you know, I couldn't find a problem, actually, because, you know, there, there was no problem at all. But uh, there's no schematics on the internet, of course, uh, it's always like that. But, you know, I've, I've done some research on the internet, and what I found, it was very interesting, because, you know, on this motherboard, if I go under the microscope, so, what I've noticed, that here... The one missing component, I thought it's a capacitor, but actually here we've got a description. So this is the resistor, it should be here resistor. Also, we've got two uh, places where the capacitor should be. This one looks like someone, uh, look at this, on the other side. You see? No, this is not that one. This one. It looks like someone has removed this capacitor for some reason before. And we can see that, you know, this label is 
in flux. And another thing, there's also one missing capacitor here. So after the small research, what I found, found the similar, you know, motherboards on eBay. And as you can see, we've got missing capacitor here. And we've got this plate, but there is no capacitor. And here we've got resistor. I don't know which one is it. But I've got another picture of the board from different seller. And I found the resistor. It's, and it's a zero ohm resistor here. The capacitor, this, this capacitor looks exactly the same like this one. I've got the capacitor. I've just robbed him of the board. And this is the capacitor uh, 50 volts, 22 ohms. Yeah. The capacitor on the motherboard which I think it's very, it's exactly the same, has got values, got 25 volts and 22 microfarads. So mine has got exactly the same amount of microfarads, but it's in higher voltage. So, so I'm going to solder this capacitor here. And also I'm going to solder the missing resistor zero ohm here. And we will see. All right, let's do it. All right, before I go any further, I'm going to check that capacitor if it's good. And it is, it is good. We got minus here, minus, well, yeah, let's test this resistor if it's still good. Good. So now I'm going to test it. Now it's the moment of truth. Yes, we've got a light. All right, so well, that was the reason, you know. Oh, it's gone to the uh, standby mode because there is no uh, source connected to the motherboard. Press it off now it's on now it's on and it should go yeah now we've got standby mode yes 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 all right so what i'm going to do now i'm going to unplug everything now and assemble everything back and test it you in the bit.
Alright, so the monitor is already assembled and what I'm going to do, I'm going to check uh, if I can play with the PlayStation 4 on this monitor. So let's have a look. The console is already plugged, the monitor is also already plugged. Oh. Oh. Can we see any picture? Screen? Yes, we can see. No. <laughs> All right. As you can see, this monitor came back to life. Even if I don't repair this kind of thing, but you know, we will see. Maybe you know, on my channel, I will uh, repair some different kind of stuff. I don't know. I'm just thinking about it. Leave me the comment below, what's your opinion about this, and we can try to fix different different devices. Alright, please like and subscribe, and see you next time! Round 1, fight!